drive is running good. So, so the latest update is uh, the Pope has gone to the Russian embassy to uh, urge the stopping of the fighting. Stop the war. Don't do it. Leave Ukraine alone. So, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints uh, is not doing that example. Did the video about how the church is actually paid for this war to happen. So it's a big difference. Are you sure Mormons want to be Christian? Is that what it's all about? You pay for the war so that Jesus can appear? And that's going to make you the good guys that won't be annihilated with the second coming of Jesus? Who's going to destroy the wicked? So paying for the war is not an act of wickedness. Jesus is going to Parable of the Talents. Let's go over that. Since Russell M. Nelson used that as an excuse <coughs> to justify hoarding money in violation of tax law. The Kingdom of Heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants and divided unto them his goods. Unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them another five talents. Likewise he had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one, went and digged in the earth, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh, and reckoneth with them. So he that had received five talents came, and brought forth other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained besides, beside them five talents more. And his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will make thee ruler over many things, enter thou into the joy of the Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, gathering where thou hast not strawed, and I was afraid, and went and hid my, thy talent in the earth, lo, there thou hast that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knowest that I reap where I sowed not, and gather where I strawed not. Thou oughtest therefore to have put thy, my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. No wailing, I guess, in this one. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth. And so that was Nelson's justification for hoarding money.
because second coming, Jesus is coming. Well done. We'll make you the ruler of the world over all the kings of the governments. Adam on Diamond. Lucifer gives the kingdom way to perfection. I was shocked too. Lucifer gives it, huh? Okay. <laughs> he willingly gives it? Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's what the church destroyed me over. <laughs> I exposed this. And so, and then it talks about separating sheep from goats. Afterwards, the parable of the ten virgins was before this. It's the latter days, guys. This is what they were justifying, hoarding money and not helping the Mormons. As they are told the IRS that that's what they were using the money for. And, uh, and so the Pope stands up, condemns the war, condemns Putin. And the church? Nope. They paid with the Lord's money to cause the war, thinking that the Lord is going to be happy with them and not cast them into outer darkness. Do we need to go over what the Lord does to wicked shepherds who leave the sheep to the slaughter of the wolves? Jeremiah goes over that. but Yeah, the church is silent about all of this. They support it because they paid for it. And so the church news releases today how bees and goats are changing lives in Jordan. Again, more distractions. They're not talking a thing about Ukraine. Not even doing anything to pitch in and help. Not doing anything that even the Pope did to urge that the war stop. That Putin withdraw back off, go back home, oh, the missionaries might have to leave, the new mission presidents, oh, no, oh, what about the temple yet to be determined in a major city of Russia, oh, no, oh, yeah, sacrifice brings forth blessings, but not if it's Russia. Russia might get mad at the church, so Nelson's going to keep quiet, not condemn them. After all, he did pay them for the war. But, yeah, took the missionaries out of Ukraine, closed the temple in Ukraine. Had no problem with that. That sent a big message that I made sure was discussed. So, Latter-day Saint French composer's music featured in Beijing Olympics. Again, what are we doing in Beijing anyway? We're supposed to be condemning China for their human rights violations and atrocities. Oh yeah, I did that video last Saturday after uh, Bill Mayer's show last week. And then, further distraction, read a talk a day, start now to prepare for April 2022 General Conference, where little girls are going to be paired up with the creepy old men for polygamy. I told you, we're in war. But Nelson says it's only going to be temporary, like something else that was supposed to be temporary and is now going on year three. 
which is still a super spreader. And so, yeah, new normal. I had new normal on one of my papers. Did I not talk about new normal? <gasps> I didn't! I am surprised that the news is not talking about the normalization of the war in Ukraine. <laughs> the new normal. Yeah, Ukraine's at war. How sad and pathetic. We got over a hundred thousand evacuees that are now refugees. And so what do we do with refugees? I don't know. Leave them to die? But then to see photos of, of women. There was a picture of a couple. She stayed behind to be with him. To fight for Ukraine. And that, of course, brought a tear. Or two, as it is now. <sighs> Women and children, for the most part, evacuated, but to see that when you love somebody, you don't want to leave them and you will fight by their side for your land, your country. Oh, uh, yeah. Title of liberty, huh? Alma 46. Yea, we see that Amalekiah, verse 10, because he was a man of cunning device and a man of many flattering words, that he led away the hearts of many people to do wickedly. Yea, and did seek to destroy the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. that one. That's for tomorrow. The arm of wrath, or the wrath arm, for tomorrow. Day six of the 26th. And the countdown. And to destroy the foundation of religious freedom, which God had granted unto them, or which blessing God had sent upon the face of the land for the righteous sake. And, and I, I'm hoping that eventually it will click for my viewers. That they'll go, holy crap, the churches did that? That's horrible. Like those who are upset with Brad Wilcox, that they will realize it's the church that is racist and sexist. It's the church that's bigoted. And then everything will start clicking after that. Click after click after click after click after click. You start realizing, oh my goodness, the church is, is doing this and the church is doing that. And the Book of Mormon says that evil does this and wicked people do that and the church is doing it. And Lucifer's church, the great and abominable church, and it starts clicking for you. Like Revelation. Book of Mormon is awesome for that. Because it's so true. But, you know, I keep trying. <clears throat> and, uh, and it came to pass that when Captain Moroni, who was the chief commander of the armies of the Nephites, had heard these dissensions, he was angry with the Malachiah. And it came to pass that he rent his coat, and he took a piece thereof, and wrote upon it, In memory of our God, our religion and freedom, and our peace, and our wives, and our children. And he fastened it upon a pole, and he fastened on his headplate, and his breastplate, and his shields, and girded on his armor about his loins, 
And he took the pole which had on the end thereof his rent coat, and he called it the title of liberty. And then he bowed himself to the earth, and he prayed mightily unto his God for the blessings of liberty to rest upon his brethren, so long as there should be a band of Gadianton remain to possess the land. Christians, for thus were all the true believers of Christ, not Jesus, Christ, big difference, who belonged to Joseph's title, the Church of God, well, Christ. What are you doing? Who wrote this? The Church of Christ. <laughs> Called by those who did not belong to the church. <laughs> and those who did belong to the church were faithful. Yea, all those who were true believers in Christ took upon them gladly the name of Christ. Or Christians. Well, what? no. No, 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 we don't actually take the name of Christ. <laughs> we do things in His name. No, when we go through the temple and are washed and anointed to become Christ's, we're not actually taking the name Christ. do these videos and I'm concerned that uh, YouTube is censoring my comments from you guys or your comments from me they've done it before so if you're trying to reach me and you still don't see it after a while because after I do a video I check my comments to see who's commented and approve or disapprove. So if you're a dumbass, now you're not going to see your comment. <laughs> but if you're a cool subscriber, yeah, you should see your comment after I post the next video. And if you don't see your comment after I post my next video, you know YouTube is purposely censoring you because they're in on it too they're trying to destroy the freedom of the land and so yep, there you go church just doesn't care and now you know why now you know why the church has destroyed my life. And more to add, the Pope, Christian, knows about Armageddon, knows about the War of Magog, knows that it's Ukraine with Russia and yet still comes out to tell them to stop when he knows Jesus is coming he's still trying to do the right thing for peace whereas Nelson who knows all that same stuff according to Christians Ezekiel 38 nonetheless paid Putin to cause this war and destroy America so that the church can get their kingdom of Deseret back huh parable of talents huh Lord to destroy the wicked so you cause wickedness to bring about Jesus to destroy you <laughs> okay just so that we're clear <laughs> <laughs>